Frank Seppi for NPC News Online here. It's a 2018 Mr. Olympia athlete check-in. This man needs no introduction. Seven-time Mr. Olympia, Phil Heath. Phil, people been checking you out on Instagram. We saw you on NPC from the JM Mannion uh, NPC photo gym shoot. Yes. And like I just told you, we're having a conversation. We've never gotten so many positive comments. People think it's lights out, it's over, you're going to win. All right. <laughs> Well, I appreciate everybody feeling that way. It's my job this weekend to make that come to fruition. So I'm here to do battle. Very, very excited for this opportunity. Obviously trying to, trying to tie the record of Lee Haney and Ronnie Coleman, both two incredible bodybuilders that we've all been inspired to be like. And uh, like I said, I'm just, I'm just really happy. Really excited to show a new physique. People were saying, you know, this is going to be your best physique ever. I mean, they were looking at the video. They di they were dissecting frame by frame. Right. You know, they said, obviously, your stomach has come down from the hernia surgery and everything else. What are the biggest improvements in the physique that we're going to see on stage this week? I think what they were mentioning, you know, in that video, mm -hmm. being able to see a tighter waist, uh, more V taper, mm -hmm. but with that conditioning and, and round it, more round fullness, um, you know, I carry three things. I carry the conditioning, mm -hmm. I carry the separation between each muscle, and I create that overall fullness. Right. And those three things together without a hernia. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be cool about it, but I'm very excited. You know, I'm just very thankful that I had a healthier prep because last year was very, very difficult. Didn't really talk about it too much, um, but it showed me a lot of who I am as a bodybuilder, as a man, and what I can overcome. And now I can have, I had a great time in this prep. Didn't have much of an off season because I was in recovery, but this, uh, I would say cross your fingers, guys, because I'm gonna show you guys some something really cool, and I hope everybody can appreciate what I'm gonna bring. I'm sure they will. I'm sure there's a lot of skeptics out there with former Mr. Olympia, as you had Dorian Yates towards the end of his career, he got hurt, mm -hmm. never looked the same. Right. Ronnie Coleman got hurt, never looked right. the same. Right. Now you got hurt and you're coming back and you're better than, better than you've ever been. Yeah, and I think it was a good opportunity for me to, you know, come out and put myself out there, you know, mm -hmm. in Pittsburgh and, and show people like, hey, uh, here I am, I'm having fun, yeah. um, giving some content to you, the fans. I know the fans don't get to see me do a lot of content because I like to be old school and keep things under wraps. Right. Um, but it's all because I came from that old school mentality of watching the Dorian Yates and Ronnie Coleman's that they just stay covered up a lot. All the champions back then, they always stay covered up until it was time to unveil it. But um, I, like I said, I mean, I had a really good time out there and I know I got some buzz going. And of course, I'm going to have um, good, bad, ugly comments here and there, but I've been very focused and uh, very positive. And uh, my team has all been the same and we're just trying to be, uh, you know, a real unit. So then I can go out there on Friday and uh, do my thing and battle, and then on Saturday, shut the door and get number eight. I personally, obviously, been following you since you started competing and you turned pro, and this is the most confident I've ever seen you before a contest. So I know, hearing that, that you're going to bring something special to the stage, and you got a lot of NPC fans out there who are, you know, chomping at the bit to see you bring, you know, this this new package to the stage. Yeah, no, I think it's. I think this is what bodybuilding is about. I mean, you know, I've proven that. I can do a show, mm -hmm. get criticized, whether it be through judges critique, even though I win, you know, you still get a little critique and then even by the general public. And then I've been able to come back usually within 12 months and, and correct it. So that's what bodybuilding is. You know, last year obviously I was hurt, but I still was able to manage to add a couple new things. And that was a challenge for my trainer, Hani Rambot and I, because when you're dealing with that type of injury, the blood supply, like I talked to you before, has diminished. So now we get to see even, you know, more volumization of the muscle. And everybody knows that's been following me. I'm the one person that they used to call 3D. I'm the reason why everybody uses that term. And I just want to prove that I'm the king of that. And I present, you know, a really polished Mr. Olympia champion physique. Well, there's nobody here you haven't beaten multiple times already. Are we going to see, are you going to be the Tom Brady now of uh, bodybuilding? <laughs> Come back, because you can go on forever. I think um, after this year, my, my whole goal after number seven was to get healed up and then prove to myself, not just to the world, but prove to myself that uh, last year it was, it was very rough, but it's about how I win. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where the critics, the critics come in. It's how he's won. Um, did he win dominating? Did he win while he was off? And this and that. But I still won. And, 
you know, can I do it forever? I, I actually, you know, because of me being healthy now, I could probably do this another seven, eight years. But my job is to win number eight and take some time and really, uh, you know, consider nine and ten, like I told the world before. I'm just very, you know, happy to be in this position because when I said that I was going after the record, people laughed at me and they scoffed and they, they ridiculed and stuff. And I'm a living testament that, you know, sometimes you have to be, you know, pretty willing to say those things that are uncomfortable for the average person. They say, I want a promotion. I want that. I want this and I want that. And people say, oh, you can't do that. Well, how do they know? Mm -hmm. And I'm living proof of that. So me going into this show, you know, wanting to win in dominating fashion, I really want to win. And I've been wanting to win this one more than anything, probably more than the first one. You don't win seven Mr. Olympias with luck, no. number one. You know, you've beat the who's who of bodybuilding over the past seven, eight years. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, you deserve all the praise that you can get. And I'm sure, like I said, there's a ton of fans out there who are, you know, anticipating some greatness on the stage this weekend. Absolutely. And I'm, I'm really excited for, for them to be able to watch it. And you know, be, become fans of just the sport. Um, if anyone's followed me, even when I do my acceptance speeches, I always congratulate the other guys for a job well done, but more importantly, reminding the fans that I just want you to be a bodybuilding fan. Mm -hmm. You know, I just want you to be a bodybuilding fan. And in addition to that, I do want you to be a Phil Heath fan because what I'm going to present, you could take the name, you could take the last name off of my physique and you're going to like what you see. And that's what I've been working on very, very hard and I can't wait to be able to show it. There you have it, seven-time Mr. Olympia Phil Heath going for number eight. Thank you as always, great ambassador of the IPB Pro League.